Okay, everybody, this is the complete transformation process for RID Sideburn, which is also the same as Botcon Speed Breaker. Just a reminder, it's only the transformation process and the review is separately uploaded. Also, this is incredibly tricky, so bear with me. I'm going to try and make it as detailed as possible. And again, hopefully you'll understand why I'm going to use this and not the Botcon Clear one. Right, let's start off with detaching the bumper then. This comes out like so. You can see where it was attached via that tab. And then if we just separate the back wings, which are gonna be the legs, fold these straight out like so. Now all these first parts are relatively easy. We're then gonna open the doors. It's when you come to the arms in a second, you'll see it's crazily tricky. Right, now let's separate the front bumper as well. Let's just bring this down or untab there. There we go. This now means we can bring this all out. You'll see what I mean about it now being a bit of a shell former. And what we need to do is we need to rotate the waist 180 degrees anyhow, but once you've got it halfway through, take the one arm like so, bring this around and up, and then you can continue turning the waist all the way around. Right, now what we need to do, oh, I've gone the wrong way, I need to turn it around that way, that's it, so the back of the head is facing forwards. Now if we take this arm first and foremost, rotate it around, that's where the shoulder joint is gonna be, and then rotate the roof of the car around, turn the orientation of the Autobot logo there, like so. We can just leave that there for a second. Now we're gonna draw our attention to these. Let's just move these completely out of the way for now. You can literally just push these way out of the way. Right, now this is where it gets tricky, so you might have to just bear with me. Oh, I just need to rotate this all the way around, and that's it. You can see the arm fits quite flush, to be honest, inside there, but let's just keep it out of the way for now. What we need to do, both of these wheels, as I say, are going to be on the same arm. We need to get this one tucked in underneath, and what it would do is it would push this head out. But what I'm going to do is push the head out for now anyway. And now we're going to bring this down. I'm going to separate the fist. Sorry, there's a tab. That white tab was tucked in there. And then you separate the fist at the wrist there. And we've got the arm. Right, now, as I say, this is where you're going to have to really bear with me. What we're looking at doing is let's just turn this out of the way for now. So what we need to do is bring the arm up. This also rotates as well. So let's turn this around here, turn this around to the side. And I'm trying to get this into position so I can then take this whole part and this will then rotate itself. So what I need to do is lift this up like that. You can see I spun by accident out um, the, the tire rather. Right, let's see if I can get this to spin now. So spin this around on its own axis. Perfect, make sure this doesn't catch. And again, this will, that's it. So now, I know it looks really difficult, that's what we needed. We needed this part underneath. So now I can fold this underneath. Again, rotate the bumper out of the way, bring this down, and then this will sit right underneath there. And as you can see, it will push the head out to make sure that you've got the clearance at the back. If it is getting caught in there, I did say it was quite tricky. Hopefully, as I say, you've managed to keep up with that because it's awful. Let's bring that through. Oh, it's catching on this shoulder bit now. So let's lift this up again. Bring this shoulder all the way up. Fold it into position like so. And then the same here. And now, as I say, because it's a shell form, it's a case of putting it all back. So there's the orientation of the fist. Turn it round. Well, not back as in to the position as a car but so it can display all right. Bring that, as I say, over the top of the shoulder and let's just tidy up the back of these. For our, To be honest, personally, I tuck these in like so, so they're not too visible. And then I'm gonna just stand this up straight, bring this down. I say, this is a bit of a shield as well. It's up to you how you wanna position all the arms, to be honest. Let's rotate this up. If it pops off, don't worry, it's on a ball and socket. We are pretty much in robot mode. I'm just gonna move these out of the way um, and correct the waist orientation. But there you go. As I say, probably far more difficult than it needs to be. Um, but there you go. There is the transformation to robot mode. Right then, let's transform back to alternate mode. And again, forgive me, this is super tricky. So what I think I'm gonna to do to start off with is separate the chest lift this right the way up and then pull this shoulder part down. Now what I need to do is bring the arm up in line with this and then this is gonna enable us now to fold the wheel out. Make sure it doesn't catch onto the back 
like so. Once we've folded this up and out, you can see that there. Now what I need to do is rotate this part around like so. Let's bring that up there, turn this out of the way. Oh, it's got stuck on there again. Right, let's try that again from a different point of view. So spin it around. Right, there we go. Let me, I need to show you. So that was there, spin this around like so. Once we've spun it around, then that's it. That's where you need it to be because that's going to be on the outside. Then you can turn the orientation of this around, separate at the bicep there, and then tab this part. This little clip here is going to go into the forearm like so, and then push this around, and then this white tab is going to go into this there. There we go. Then it's a case of just maneuvering the bumper over the front like so. That's the hardest bit. What you need to do now though is tuck the head down out of the way. It will be visible head syndrome unfortunately, but then tilt this up. Let's move all the front car kibble right out of the way. Open the doors if you need to. What you need to do now is just turn the waist 90 degrees to allow you to spin this part around, up, and again, just avoiding all the kibble, over, and then carry on turning the waist around until you've got all the tires on the same side. If I'm gonna open this door now, just to keep it out of the way, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna turn the orientation. Oh no, that's right. So the back of the fist is in the air. What you need to do now is fold the one leg over and back over this blue part there, and then tilt the roof that way, and then same with this side, fold the back of the leg over there, and pretty much now we just need to piece it all back together. So you can take the front part of the car, you can just slightly lean forward the bonnet here again and start to clip these two parts in. As you do that, bring the roof over and drop that into position as well. Now it's a case of clipping these back parts in and along the side like so. Close the doors again like so. If it all starts to pop open, don't worry. Once it's in the pretty much the normal position it is easy just to click it all back in like so and then of course the final bit is this part which has got a huge tab there going in the back and this slots in there i hope it helped it's a really sort of tricky uh, transformation process it's all about getting these tires oh let's just come off as i've said that in the right position so that's what it should look like from the underneath just remember you've got to bend the forearms around there and the legs what this side goes over the blue tab that side doesn't hope it helps anyway guys take care